I used a total of three items. I first had this A4 Muji grid loose leaf, and then I also used this cardstock paper, which is a grayish color, and this clipper from Repesco, which is actually super cool. You put in the refills and push it out, and it clips whatever papers you have together. <laughs> So next, I gathered my resources. I knew that I had to do a lot of searching for reliable AP Bio information, so of course I first went to College Board because they invented the test, and I found this course at a glance, which is great for organizing my study guide into sections, units, and topics. So now that I found an organizational resource with everything listed, I needed to find something with concepts, which is basically just something that tells me what I need to study for the test and what I should not be studying. And I came across this AP Biology course and exam description book, which looks really, really helpful. It's actually aimed for teachers, but they provided it online, so I decided to use it for my study guide. They actually have course descriptions, what you should know, for instance, they have this essential knowledge and a learning objective for each unit and each topic, which is super helpful, so I saved that to my files. Now, I looked for another resource because I realized that that didn't provide enough information, and I found this resource from PT Beach, which provides an actual list and descriptions, definitions, vocabularies, practice problems, FRQs, literally the whole thing. So I decided to save that as well. And yeah. So in terms of personal resources, I have this AP Bio Princeton book and three AP Biology in-class notes that I took. In terms of how I used them before, I actually annotated a bit in the Princeton book in this particular unit, but I did not annotate the entire thing. And for these two books, literally every page is filled. I provided images, very thorough information. These are actually my in-class notes. So I made sure that I was writing down not only the words on the slides, but my teacher's words. So these are definitely going to be super helpful and I recommend that you take anything that you have at home from that is not on the internet and use it in your study guide. Using your own notes will help a lot because these are personalized and tailored towards you so then you can make some adjustments to fit your needs. So now it's time to make the layout of the book. To be honest, I thought I knew where I was going with this, but now I'm just kind of um, confused as to what I really want to do. I was first thinking of folding it over and then having this as the title, but like, why not just have these cardstock as pages in the book? And then I realized that the cardstock is tinted, so you can't really see color on here, so um, I couldn't do that. I came back to the loose leaf and I am going to cut the loose leaf in half and see where that takes me. So when I was making my second study guide, I realized that you can just fold the papers and insert it and clip it with the cardstock. So I filmed it really quick. This is just another quick way. You don't have to really cut anything through this way. But the downside is that it did not completely fit inside my 8x11 cover. So I guess cutting it was inevitable anyways. So this is my favorite part. I took out my Supa clip. That is exactly what this is called. I'll link it down below. But I took it and I clipped the ends three of them to test out how that would look but then i realized that if i fold it over then how will i attach the cover to the loose leaf so i decided to clip it externally which makes much more sense but the pages didn't fit so i had to cut them by two grid along the edge and so when i fit it in it finally fit perfectly and I put it all together and it was finally done. I just finished making the book. As you can tell, there are not many pages in here and the AP Bio coursework is very, very long. So I'll definitely be inserting pages as I go along. But for now, it looks pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with how it turned out. It's not as 
pretty looking, but it'll do for now. So I am deciding to design the cover page and write out the units that I need to put in this notebook, which are listed in the college board PDF file that I saved. This was most likely a waste of my time, but when I was actually searching for pictures, I was able to kind of quiz myself and see if I can actually remember some of the concepts from earlier in the year. So it was kind of fun to see the diagrams and look back upon the year when I was still in school. So that was kind of a pro to spending 20 minutes making a cover. I like how it turned out. I decided to print out the images onto the cover. So I have the citric acid cycle, DNA, electron transport chain, a cell, and the human heart, which represents my favorite concepts of the AP Bio subject. I also wrote out the course at a glance. So I have an overview of what I need to get done and what I need to focus on. And I did it in rainbow color because I could not settle on a single theme for this book. Today, I'm going to start off with the water and hydrogen bonding topic. I have my resource right over here and I might take out a couple of my notes to make sure that everything I'm writing down is correct. But yeah, I'm really excited to start out writing my book. <laughs> process for the first concept. I have a concept source, a context source, and a video source as well as my own notes so I make sure that I'm on the right track. And all that is being condensed into one little notebook.
So just a quick update, I'm going to draw the cell structure in order to um, visualize things more because I'm a visual learner. So I have this um, AP Bio Princeton review that I showed in the beginning of the video and it has now come to a time where I should use it because I don't want to search up the cell structure online just in case they provide extra or like misinformation. This is a cell that I'll be copying onto my study guide. So as I was doing this, I realized that it kind of looks like a journal spread or like some kind of collage, which is something that I'm actually liking so far. So my personal notes have a lot of diagrams because I'm a diagram based person. I can only see things visually in order to understand it. As you can see, I have a diagram and then a list. Over here, I have a chart and you can also see the variability in the previous pages when I have a diagram along with a mini mind map where I just have a bunch of arrows. So honestly, I just mix up the way the information is shown, making sure that there's enough pictures and visualizations, like the check marks and the charts. This helps me retain the information and write out a better study guide.
So this book is officially filled up with units one and two, and I did not anticipate that it would perfectly fit in, but it did, and I only have one remaining page, which is really good. I can start another one, but I'll be doing a quick flip through. I decided to only film units one and two for this video for time reasons, since the AP bio test is coming up really, really soon. Also, because I just wanted to show you guys the process for how this booklet was being made. I think it will just be repetitive for the next four units. So I just showed you guys two as an example. The process was pretty similar for these two units I used online sources. I used PT Beach a little bit more for the first unit since I did need a basis on how I should structure my notes. And I used Princeton more for the second unit. I used videos for both and the College Board PDF I used for both as well. Um, the diagrams, I drew more of them for the second unit because it was more of an interactive and visual unit where I have to visualize the plasma membrane and just the concepts in general. But overall, I like how it turned out and I do like how I have space to practice FRQs for the second unit. The first unit, not so much, but then again, it was a bit more straightforward. And my teacher is assigning a few FRQ practice questions, which would be super helpful. I had a really fun time drawing out the diagrams. It was one of my favorite parts of making this book and I liked how I was able to condense the information because I have about three books full of information and being able to condense it into a couple of pages is honestly very helpful. But yeah, that was the whole AP Bio two units in this little book i will be making another one and i will be updating how it looks on my instagram so if you want you can go ahead and follow that thank you for coming along with me throughout the making of this book it was very very fun to do the best part about writing your own study guide is that you get to see the process and the concepts connect to each other as you go along which is very helpful and once you understand concepts you can literally memorize the entire unit so i am really happy that this had served a great purpose